I am sure you have seen science fiction movies where robots are fighting humans and conquering worlds. Now imagine a real-life war where no soldiers storm the battlefield, no generals call the shots from command centers. Instead, machines unmanned, self-thinking, lethal make the decisions. Not in minutes, but in milliseconds. That's for you, my friend, the new age of warfare. For most of modern history, wars have been waged by human hands, guided by strategy, intuition, and boots on the ground. But today, war is evolving. Artificial intelligence is taking over roles once thought to be uniquely human, piloting aircraft, surveilling enemy lines, detecting threats in cyberspace, and even deciding when to pull the trigger. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening now. In Ukraine, autonomous drones have already changed the nature of combat. In the South China Sea, AI is being tested for naval dominance. In Pentagon labs and Chinese tech parks, the future of AI-powered war is being written in code, quietly, quickly, and often without oversight. In today's video, we explore the ways AI has already transformed the battlefield and how it's set to revolutionize global military power. Technologist Alexander Wang was addressing a TED Talk session where he explains lethal drones with facial recognition, armed robots, autonomous fighter jets are the dawn of a new age of AI-powered warfare. Swarms of lethal drones with facial recognition that know your every move, or unmanned armed robots that are near impossible to defeat. Autonomous fighter jets that can travel at supersonic speeds and can withstand greater gravitational force than a human pilot could survive. Cyber attacks that incapacitate critical port infrastructure, or disinformation campaigns and deepfakes that throw presidential elections, or even foreign adversaries taking out satellites, our eyes and ears in space, rendering us blind to global events. All superintelligent weapons of terror. We are at the dawn of a new age of warfare. As we saw in World War II with the atomic bomb, the country that is able to most rapidly and effectively integrate new technology into warfighting wins. There's no reason to believe this will be any different with AI. This is the story of AI in warfare, a story of innovation, escalation, and a future no one can fully predict. Autonomous weapons. Autonomous weapon systems are perhaps the most dramatic and controversial development in military AI. These are machines, drones, ships, vehicles that can identify, track, and engage targets with little to no human intervention. These are no longer prototypes. They're operational. Take, for example, the Shahed-136 drones supplied by Iran and deployed by Russia in the war in Ukraine. These low-cost loitering munitions can navigate across hundreds of kilometers, lock onto radar signatures, and slam into infrastructure or personnel with deadly precision. Ukraine, in turn, has developed a AI-based counter-drone swarms to intercept and destroy incoming threats autonomously. These swarms rely on real-time machine learning to adapt mid-flight, even under electronic jamming. The United States Navy's Sea Hunter is another breakthrough. This unmanned surface vessel is capable of navigating thousands of miles independently, detecting enemy submarines along the way. It's a robotic scout, escort, and mine detector all rolled into one. Meanwhile, the U.S. Air Force Loyal Wingman program is building AI drones that fly alongside fighter jets, absorbing fire, gathering intel, and launching strikes. Countries like Turkey have already demonstrated how cheap, semi-autonomous drones like the Bayraktar TB2 can neutralize tanks, artillery, and convoys, changing the balance of power in conflicts from Syria to Nagorno-Karabakh. The potential here is enormous, but so are the risks. Critics argue these systems lack human judgment and could cause unintended civilian casualties. Nonetheless, the technology is advancing, and nations are moving forward fast. Logistics and Battlefield Management Modern warfare relies on a dense web of supply chains, maintenance schedules, and battlefield communications. Here, AI offers an unprecedented advantage. In the U.S. Army, predictive maintenance systems now use AI to monitor the health of vehicles and aircraft, flagging parts for replacement before they fail. For instance, the Griffin Helicopter Project integrates AI to assess vibrations, heat levels, and performance patterns, avoiding mechanical breakdowns in combat 
combat zones. In March 2025, the Pentagon's Defense Innovation Unit, DIU, awarded a prototype contract to scale AI for a project named Thunderforge. This initiative aims to integrate artificial intelligence into military operational and theater-level planning, enhancing decision-making processes. The initial deployment of these capabilities is targeted for the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command and European Command. Denmark's Cetaware, Israel's WinBMS, and NATO's Joint Command tools now utilize AI-driven battle management software to coordinate forces across domains, air, land, sea, and cyber. These platforms help commanders see the battlefield in real time, simulate different outcomes, and rapidly issue orders, all enhanced by predictive modeling. When every second counts, AI in logistics might be the difference between victory and defeat. AI in Intelligence and Surveillance Project MAVEN, launched by the U.S. Department of Defense, was one of the first large-scale efforts to use AI for analyzing drone and satellite footage. Instead of human analysts sifting through hours of video, algorithms now flag movement, identify vehicles, detect patterns, and even distinguish friend from foe. Ukraine's battlefield success has been greatly aided by Palantir Technologies, whose AI software processes vast amounts of data, from satellite images to troop movements, to provide real-time targeting solutions. Palantir CEO Alex Karp has claimed that his company's platform was instrumental in hundreds of successful strikes. Facial recognition is another area where AI is proving powerful and controversial. Ukrainian forces have used Clearview AI to identify Russian soldiers, including those killed in action, from photographs and partial footage. This technology also aids in psychological operations and tracking enemy combatants. AI and Cyber Warfare not all wars are fought with bullets. In cyberspace, nations battle over infrastructure, secrets, and information integrity. Here too, AI is both the weapon and the shield. China is at the forefront of developing cognitive electronic warfare using AI to jam communications, spoof radar signatures, and mislead enemy drones. These systems adapt in real time, learning how to bypass enemy defenses dynamically. In response, the United States has initiated programs like DARPA's Sabre, which creates AI systems that simulate attacks on American networks to identify weak points. These red team AIs are capable of evolving new cyber attack strategies and suggesting mitigations faster than human teams ever could. In 2023, the NSA launched its AI Security Center, designed to defend against threats such as model poisoning and adversarial attacks, situations where enemy code alters or manipulates AI behavior to design disastrous effect. According to General Paul Nakasone, former head of U.S. Cyber Command, we use artificial intelligence primarily within our signals intelligence mission. I would look at it differently for our cybersecurity mission. In the shadows of the internet, AI is already fighting wars you'll never see on the news. Who's winning the global AI arms race? Across the world, nations are scrambling to outpace each other in military AI. Let's break down the key players. The United States remains the global leader in military AI, with over $1.8 billion allocated to AI projects in the 2024 defense budget. From DARPA research to private partnerships with Silicon Valley giants, America's approach blends innovation and military might. China is quickly closing the gap. It has pledged over $150 billion dollars to AI development by 2030, much of it tied to military use through its civil military fusion policy. China's PLA has tested autonomous systems in space, sea, and cyber domains often shrouded in secrecy. Russia, though economically constrained, continues to push into autonomous systems and AI-based electronic warfare. Its military has tested AI-enhanced tanks, targeting software and automated air defense in both Syria and Ukraine. Israel remains a pioneer in tactical AI, integrating it into everything from Iron Dome missile defense to urban warfare decision tools. The IDF is also deploying AI for command and control in real-time combat situations. NATO allies are also stepping up. The alliance's DIANA program is accelerating AI startups for defense innovation, pooling expertise from across Europe and North America. This isn't just a race for dominance, it's a race to define the rules of future conflict. 
The Dark Side of AI in War While the potential of AI in warfare is staggering, the risks are just as severe. Autonomous systems could misfire, misidentify, or malfunction, resulting in catastrophic civilian harm. Worse still, they could be hacked or used by non-state actors with no regard for international law. There is also the issue of accountability. If an autonomous drone mistakenly kills civilians, who is to blame? Bias in AI systems is another concern. Machine learning models trained on biased or incomplete data can replicate or amplify dangerous assumptions, potentially identifying the wrong targets in life or death scenarios. More than 30 countries have called for a global treaty to ban lethal autonomous weapons, including Austria, Brazil. However, military powers like the US, China, and Russia have refused to sign on, arguing that such systems are necessary to maintain global deterrence. As former UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned, machines with the power and discretion to take lives without human involvement are politically unacceptable, morally repugnant, and should be prohibited by international law. The Future of AI and War the U.S. and its allies are researching AI-driven command centers capable of launching coordinated responses to attacks, simulating the outcomes of war games in real time, and even overseeing nuclear deterrence protocols. Swarming drones, hypersonic targeting AIs, and autonomous submarines are already in development. Soon, we may see entire battles orchestrated by code with human oversight limited to emergency overrides. The battlefield of tomorrow may be invisible, algorithmic, and far more dangerous than anything we've seen before. The challenge now isn't whether to use AI in war. That choice has already been made. The challenge is how to use it responsibly before we lose control of what we've created. As Eric Schmidt, former Google CEO, said, The future isn't man versus machine. It's man with machine versus man without. And the stakes are global. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into AI and technology. And if you want more content like this, drop your questions in the comments below.